Hello everyone and welcome to Realism Overhaul in Kerbal Space Program 1.7.1. I was preparing a launch fest. I think I'll get that ready for July 4th because that seems appropriate. But something strange happened along the way. As you can see, we've got a Vega rocket launching from Kuru. In the new launch fest, I wanted to make sure to test rockets I hadn't done in 1.6.1. And this is one of those rockets. This is from Forgotten Real Engines. And this happened. Um, suddenly, the rocket disappeared. Well, not all the rocket, part of the rocket, at about 2.7 kilometers up, decided to disappear. Now, the boosters, the solid rocket motors, are from Forgotten Real Engines, and so is the engine on the fourth stage. And that fourth stage engine also disappeared. That was the RD-843 from Forgotten Real Engines. The tank it's attached to is from a different mod, and so are the things on top of it. So, there are many possibilities here. It is possible to click on the parts that have disappeared, and they are obviously functional, so you see me clicking there on the Zephyro stage there. Um, in this version of KSP, it seems like I have some sort of horizon issue that I didn't have in 1.6.1, though that corrects when you get to high enough altitude, but obviously not good on the visuals. But anyway, it was experiment time, and the first thing to do was to see if the same thing happened again, to see if it duplicated itself. Now, I don't know if this is just a problem with my install, or whether anybody would be able to duplicate this. That's something I'm curious about. It is an interesting effect. There it goes again. And it seems everything below that fourth stage with the RD-843 and that tank uh, is affected. Here I decided to remove that fourth stage and see what happened. And so, again, it's curious that, you know, everything starts out all right, and then suddenly at 2.7 kilometers it disappears. That's weird, too. Uh, it might have something to do with the aero effects, but even when the aero effects are gone, like when we're in space, they remain disappeared, of course. So, that's interesting. But we go right through the altitude, and we continue on to orbit. Now, with the Vega being lighter, it's harder to get into a tight orbit, because, of course, you can't shut down the SRBs. And it's missing the fourth stage, which is just a hypergolic stage that uh, can manage a burn more carefully. This is a little bit wiggly. But yeah, no disappearing this time. So it has to do with that one stage. And the question in my mind was, was it the tank or was it the engine? Because those are the only two parts that have been removed and uh, we did not get the invisibility effect. Now, having removed those parts, I decided to put them on again from the part library, if you will and see if it continued to replicate the same situation with the invisibility. And... will it? Well, I think you know the answer, otherwise I wouldn't be making a video, would I? So, yes it did. Okay. And so this time I decided to fly the tank, but not the engine. So not the RD-843 from Forgotten Real Engines. And this time with just the tank and not the engine, uh, we see that does not turn invisible. So, it is the RD-843 from that mod. So, time to test a totally different rocket. Because, you know, duplication. So, on this totally different rocket, actually, I didn't record the first time. The first time I did it, the probe disappeared. And that was because the probe wasn't the, the root part. The, the top stage of the rocket was the root part. This time, with the probe being the root part and the RD-843 directly under the probe, it didn't disappear. So the probe is still there, and the RD-843 is directly under the root part, and there is no invisibility effect in this case. And we continue to orbit. Now, this is a Minotaur 5, and it was from KK Launchers from way back when. It's got problems. You might notice that all the stages still have solid fuel, that they aren't burning, and that's wrong, and I haven't figured out how to get rid of that. And there are other problems with it, including the uh, one of the upper stages has the nodes in the wrong place, and that causes problems when you decouple. It's the next stage. So when this stage decouples, it has serious issues. And actually, the next stage also attempts to burn the solid fuel instead of the HTPB like it should. The top stage is spin stabilized and this is the only stage with uh, nitrogen in order to do that. See this this whole collider issue? Yeah, that's not good. And then this stage is gonna try and burn the solid fuel. So if you're wondering why you can't get this Minotaur 5 anymore, and this is why, oh so it's not got a plume configured properly and it's got the wrong burn, it's all bad on this stage. The next stage is fine. 
Except it still has that solid fuel hanging out for no good reason. But yeah, this ultimately... Well, I think it gets shy of orbit right there. Just not quite orbit. But no invisibility effect. So, what I did was I decided to move the RD843 down. And I told you the nodes on that one stage were messed up. So I decided to, instead of tweaking things up to make the lock rocket look right, I decided to just go with the nodes that it had to see if it still had the weird shaky business when it separates. And also this allowed us to see the RD843 right there, that's the engine that I've got at the bottom of that stage, and see what it does. We're keeping an eye on it. Well, I say keeping an eye on it, but you know, if it does what it's gonna do, there it goes. It disappears. So. We've got an invisibility engine. I don't know how this happens. I don't know why it happens. It is a total mystery to me. And I've never seen anything like it before. So I'm presenting this to you uh, in the hope that somebody might have an answer. Um, yeah, it, it's an interesting thing to do. Obviously you'd want maybe an invisible satellite would be more useful than invisible rocket because you can basically tell the rocket's launching. Right? I mean, it's not very helpful to have an invisible rocket. Fearing separation is a bit messy, and stage separation was still a little bit messy here, but better. But I'll figure out how to fix the nodes, and hopefully the solid fuel before I do the launch fest for July 4th. If I don't have this rocket in launch fest, you know why, because I haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, there you go. That was what I wanted to present to you. Maybe you can duplicate the effect, maybe you can't. If you try, do tell me. And thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.